Hey y'all, how are all my beautiful friends doing? I hope y'all all are having an amazing week and welcome back to Crime Time with Mel. If you have no idea who the heck I am, hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. Over here we cover missing and unsolved cases. If that is something you would be interested in, I would love to have you join this truly amazing community. All my returning viewers and subscribers, they're really the most inspirational and uplifting positive people that I have came across on YouTube and I am so dang lucky to have y'all. In today's video, I heard about this case from Crime Line and Lines. I will link their YouTube channel down below and I think it's very interesting. This case spoke to me a lot. I have a whole playlist on my channel. I will link up here if you're interested in checking out all about cases like this where it's ruled as a self unalive but it seems a little bit more than what it is. And I have a long story of why I am intrigued by these cases. Long story short, when I was two years old, my grandpa was um, shot six or seven times. I'm not quite sure, but I know he was shot multiple times in the chest and in the back. They ruled it as an unalive. So that is why these cases really speak to me because it hits close to home. And I honestly believe that when investigators walk into a case and they see this type of thing that it looks some type of way. I still think it needs to be investigated to the fullest extent. Alana Raffield was found on December 8th, 2020 with a weapon wound to her head. The only problem with this is there are some very bizarre details about this case and stuff just doesn't make sense. So we're going to Alana Marie Raffield was born December 28, 2005 and was born in Walnut Creek, California and currently living as an only child to her mom, Heather, and her husband, Kevin, in Prague, Oklahoma. On December 8, 2020, around 6.15 in the morning, Heather woke up to let the dogs out and Kevin was up getting ready for work. Kevin all of a sudden started to hear crying from the garage and when he went out there, he saw Heather leaning down next to Alana's body on the ground. She was laying down flat on her back and he immediately dialed 911. Police arrived, they started asking if she was left-handed and started asking if she was in a physical altercation the night before. She had bruises all over her abdomen and her gunshot wound was on the left side of her head. There was no notes, there was no bullet casings found around and Alana is right-handed, so the wound went in from the left and exited out the right. And another bizarre thing is Kevin and Heather's home is not this big, gigantic home. It's a fairly small home, and they never heard a gunshot going off. Now, in the middle of the night, Alana would usually get up and let her puppy out, but what was odd and quite alarming was the way she was found. Another thing that's odd is there's a wall right beside where Alana was found, and there was no bullet hole in that wall from where it exited. So even with all that, now obviously investigators were questioning things because of the entrance of the wound and the bruises on the abdomen, they, they said that, but even with all these things, no casings being found, no hole in the wall where she was right next to. Within a few weeks, they ruled Alana's death as a self unalive. Two years later, Kevin and Heather filed a wrongful death lawsuit and say they are the only ones fighting for justice for Alana and they need help. A pew pew powder residue test was never performed on Alana, but it was on her clothing that the funeral home washed three times. And the pew pew that was found several, several feet away from where she was, which is odd, uh, usually it's right there, that was never tested either. And it was the family's weapon, but the fact that it was never tested for fingerprints or anything like that. And more than that, it was never even confirmed that that was actually the weapon that caused her injury. Now, Alana was also in a relationship with an 18 year old boy who admitted to police that he logged into Alana's account after she died to get some pictures. 
He also admitted that he was the one that sent multiple cryptic messages from Alana's account after she passed away. Like why, why? And y'all get this. Police did a search on the boyfriend's phone for a disturbing video that the boyfriend told investigators that detailed how to make a murder look like a cell phone a lot. And what about his phone location that night? Like where, where was he that night? Now here's some extremely conflicting information that I have found so far as the time I'm filming this. The Prague Police Department stated that they never closed the case. The OSBI said that a case was never opened. And the DA's office said it is an open investigation. So, which one is it? Is it closed? Is it open? Has it never been opened? Heather can't even step foot in her daughter's room. This family simply just wants answers. They want answers. Everything in her daughter's room is exactly the same way she left it. Her cheer outfit is still on the floor from when she took it off and her room still smells like her baby girl. And I could not imagine feeling, knowing mother's instinct, knowing that something is wrong and something is not right. And you and your husband being the only one fighting for your child and they deserve to know what's going on. Is it open? Is it closed? I really hope it is an open investigation. So what do y'all think? Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Just please remember to be respectful and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. What are you doing? And hit that notification bell so you don't miss whenever I upload a video. I cannot thank y'all enough for taking the time out of your precious day to watch my videos. It truly means the world to me. All your comments, it really lightens my day. But just y'all being complete strangers and commenting such nice things under my videos, it truly warms my heart and soul. But if you're not done watching my videos, stay till the end. You will see an end screen with a playlist and a suggested video that you would more than likely enjoy. And my hair keeps falling. I cannot keep fixing it anymore. So it's gonna stay like this. I love y'all. I hope you'll have an amazing weekend. Stay safe, stay aware of your surroundings, and I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all.